Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2019 with the Rude Man. We're back on Yogi Land. I um, did a little bit of work, a little cleanup stuff. Uh-oh, I missed something. I might have missed a couple of things. Uh, I took all the equipment in and got it all washed up. But I think I missed a couple of things. I didn't do that one. And I didn't get to the equipment that didn't have a tractor hooked up to it. Uh, but I got everything else, and I just took everything over and got it all washed up. It's all staged right here in the line. So everything's washed up and ready to go for whatever purpose it's uh, going to function at. And what I'm going to do this morning is I want to go in and finish the cotton harvest. And then what I'm going to do is go offline and sell all the cotton, because that's going to be kind of boring to watch. And my goal is to purchase, let's see if I get up here and look at the land. I want to purchase this big thing right here. And as you can see down here, it's about 14, 15, 000, uh, 15 million. So I'm going to see if I can reach that with the cotton. If not, I'm going to have to do a couple of things. I'll either have to sell some more crop and or... Um, do another harvest so what I'm gonna do is let's finish this harvest up let's get to those combines out on the field all fields are almost done there's just a strip or two to go let's get this guy running cuz whoa don't do that Field work. Drive the course. All right, get him going. Let's get out to the cotton harvesters. Get those started and running. There's one here. Let's have him get going. You can see they're all pretty much done. Let's uh, get him started. Let's see, this guy. Him going. Got one more. See, they're all just about done. All right. <clears throat> We're going to have some of them kind of colliding here. These two. All right, they are done. So what I want to do is let's uh, poop that out. back together it's all done uh, these guys are kind of colliding let's stop this one and let him go I'll finish him out this guy's on his last leg this guy's all by himself out here. Okay, he's empty. This one is not, so let's start him up. Get his last little bit out of there. Okay, what's happening? Um, he won't let me lower harvester unfinished bale there we go
Came back together. Okay, so he's done. Let's let's take this guy up to field number nine and see if we can help this guy out finishing that last line there. I guess I should have left the bale in it, huh? Oh well. Where are they going? Stop, you're done. Okay, so there's one, two, three, four, and five. All right, so we got two actually working. We got two of them that are emptying. All right, these two to finish. Now, what's going to happen is I'm going to, like I said, go offline. I'm going to sell all the cotton. <clears throat> and then, depending on how much I make on it, I either buy that field or I may need to come in here and sell something if I can to make up the difference. Now, I got a lot of stuff actually I could sell. So, if we go here you'll see that um, I've got a little bit of wheat, a little bit of barley. I don't want to sell that. I want to use that. I've got some canola I can sell, but I don't want to use that either because I'm using that for fuel. All these three things I'm using for fuel. I can maybe sell some of it. Like I might keep the sunflower seeds. That's what I got the most of. Sell the canola and the soybeans, and then I can use that for the fuel. I don't have any corn, but what I do have is... Um, I did finish the, the uh, offline between the last episode. I did finish the uh, harvest on the sugar cane. So you can see I've got a lot of sugar cane. Uh, what is that? A billion? Eight billion? Let's see. No, that's eight million. Is that right? Yeah, eight million. So I've got a lot of sugar cane I can sell. And also I've got a lot of straw and grass and stuff like that as I was showing you in the last episode. Look at all the grass we've got. Uh, our straw, I've got to what, six six million? Uh, grass, I should have lots of grass. So I've got five million. I've got silage I can sell. I got a lot of stuff that I can work, that I can sell. So, um, oh, we're done. So what I'm going to do is, again, um, we'll, I'll sell this stuff depending on how much I've got. Like, okay, if I come back after the cotton uh, sale of the cotton and I need $15 million. If I come back and I've only got, well, I've already got $6 million, I should be able to do it without any problem. But if I'm way off and I figure that I can't make it up by selling those other crops like the sugar cane and things like that then I'll come back and do another harvest but if I do think I'm gonna make it I'll come back we'll buy that farm and we'll start another harvest Let me just back this thing into the field here It's funny how a partial bale looks the same size as a full bale. 
just doesn't sell as good. All right, so I'm done with the cotton. Um, if I have to do more cotton, here's the thing. If you if you look, let me turn this thing down. It's pretty loud. I'll do that. Turn it off. All right, if you look at the cotton harvesters, in the lower right-hand corner where the speedometer is, you're going to see that they're pretty wore out. They need repaired badly. So I have a choice. They're leased. My choice is, there's, if you look at that one, my choice is to turn these all back in and let the shop repair them since they're leased. And then if I need to do another cotton harvest, I'll just release them. So if that makes sense, that's what I'm going to do. We're going to go to the garage. We're going to go to leased items and we're going to return everything. That way I don't have to pay for repairs that I know of. For all I know, when you turn them back in, they charge you for repairs. I don't know. Either way, it saved me a lot of time. So there you go. All right, let's get out of that. Our harvesters are gone. Let me show you some uh, a quick other thing that has to do with money, since money is the thing that we're that we're working on here. What I did was uh, I I did you saw that I did have sugar cane in storage, but that's not all the sugar cane, because I would take quite a few loads as they came to the sugar factory. So if we look at the sugar factory, you'll notice that I've got quite a bit of sugar and forage because I've been dumping uh, sugar cane in here. So we do have some sugar. I didn't dump a lot, about every four, fifth or sixth load I would take to the sugar factory. So we do have uh, sugar available. This thing, this field here needs to be worked uh, it needs plowing and it needs uh, liming, which we will do uh, when I come back uh, because it's going to take all my time uh, selling the cotton. So I don't want to start working the field until until I know what the heck I'm going to do with it. But I want, well, you know what? I know what I want to do with this. Um... Let me go get the fertilizer spreader. Because I know what I want to do. I want to plow that one up before the sugar cane starts growing again. If it does, I don't know if it does. What am I doing? Where's my... Where's my equipment at? I already ran through it, didn't I? What's that? Oh, never mind. I did. I ran through it. There it is. Okay, so, um, yeah, I don't really know sugar cane. I don't do a lot of sugar cane. So I know that you can get three harvests off of a planting. Does that mean that it doesn't grow a fourth one? I don't know. Uh, in, the, in the past when I did sugar cane, I hated doing it. It's a pain in the ass crop to work with. But... I would do my three and then plow it up, and that's what I'm going to do here. So we're going to run out there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to throw some fertilizer on it, then I'm going to throw the lime on it, and then I'm going to plow it under. And it can actually be doing that while I'm picking up the cotton. I can't work on the other fields because they've got cotton on them. So I need to I need to sell the cotton, and then I can start working on them. And I'm running into the end of the work day. You know, it's really strange. I just heard the babies crying when I drove by that, that uh, baby food manufacturer. I've never heard that. Why, I don't know. Maybe I didn't, didn't even notice it. Go ahead and get this thing spread out.
Okay, here we go. Now I gotta decide what I'm gonna grow on this field. <clears throat> okay, so. Right. This field absolutely has no fertilizer on it at the moment, so that's gonna put uh, one run of fertilizer on it. And then we'll throw some lime and plow it and, and it'll be ready to uh, to work. Let me get the, while I'm on this, and before I leave, because I will be leaving here in a minute, to uh, sell the cotton. Let me grab Mr. Fertilizer Guy, Mr. Limerator. Oh, and I gotta uh, get some lime made at the quarry and get it up here. Okay, this doesn't have any lime. I can buy lime or I can make lime. Now, it does cost me money to make the lime because I have to pay for the quarry. But I'm hoping that it's cheaper than actually buying the lime. And I'm trying to figure out, because I haven't used it, I'm thinking that you can put lime in this thing somehow. And it must go in to the left there. But if you, if you look at this, this is not where I get my grain. If you look at this, it says lime, it says fertilizer, lime and fertilizer, right? But there's nothing in there. So what I'm thinking is that I make my lime at the quarry, I bring it here and drop it in here, and then I can pick it up in there. That's what I'm thinking. Now, I haven't done that, so I do need to do that. So, in the meantime, though, I'm just going to buy some lime. I did actually make some lime at the quarry, but I don't remember what I did with it. I think I used it up, but I can't remember. All right, while that's filling, um, let's see, what else can I do? How's he doing? Is he doing okay? Why is he not picking anything up? He must have got out of whack somehow. He lost his course. Oh, and I didn't get a chance to... This guy was full of grass, and I did not uh, wash him up, so... He's dirty. As soon as he's done with his job here, we'll get him washed up. I'm trying to get all my equipment cleaned up. It isn't going to stay that way, but... Hopefully he'll just take over from here. Not even halfway done. Cool beans, I guess. Oh, and you know what I didn't do when I was washing the equipment is I didn't go to make sure they needed whether they needed gas or re repairing, which I think most of them are okay. Yeah, it looks like most of the equipment's okay. Good repair. And fueled up enough. You know what I mean? Come on, Limerator. Fill yourself up. Tell you what, um, that tractor on the end there, that's the one I was using at the quarry. Let me... Let me get him... And uh, get back to the... What am I doing here? Taking back to the quarry. Which is where? Way down here? That's 
why that spot was clear. Railroad track there. I still haven't figured out what that's for over there. That shaker right there. I'm not sure what that's for. I'll have to look into that. I know I've got lime here and I just need to transport it over to the farm. Because I remember making some. It's that nasty hill here. Okay, what you do is you pick up the, the ore from here and then you run it over and dump it in here. And I do have lime in here. Not a lot, but I have some. And then, uh, where do you pick it up? Over here? Yeah, I pick it up right here. So uh, what I'll have to do is I'll have to figure out a course uh, from here to back to the farm to take this lime there. Not going to do it right now, though. All right, that guy should be full of lime by now. Just in time, too. Because it looks like the fertilizer guy is almost done with that field. And I still haven't remodded that tanker. I need to remod that tanker right there. I want to add carrot juice to it. little job done of buying that big field and we need to start working on coleslaw and beer and and uh, baby food all kinds of stuff like that somebody suggested that I instead of just selling the cotton that I take it to the um, sale place make sales out of it see if I can make more money and I could do that, but I don't know if I want to take the time to experiment to see if selling sales is better than selling raw cotton. We go clear out to the end, I think it does. All right, so the fertilizer guy just finished. Let's go find him. Let's at least get him off the field. And then I am going to sell the cotton and see how much money I can make. And hopefully it'll be enough to buy that field. If not, I'll come back and let you know. If it is, I'll come back and show you buying the field. So we'll do that here in a second. Let me just get this guy off the field here. But yeah, what I'm going to have to do is figure out whether uh, taking the cotton, making sales, and then selling the sales is worth more money than just selling the cotton. So... 
Yeah, it's a little bit of an experiment, I guess. I could look in here and see see what each one sells for, but let's see. What sales sell for? Sales two thousand, four thousand, five thousand at the surf shop. So five thousand versus the cotton. Where's the cotton? Did I miss it already? Here it is. Well, it looks like sales sell for more than cotton, but I don't know if it's equal. Does an equal amount of, of cotton make an equal amount of sales? I don't know. i tell you what. Let me do that experiment. And, oh boy. Is it per bale? Hmm. Let me do that. I'll check on that. I tell you what, I'll check on that. But uh, I'm going to go off right now, and I'm going to I'm going to sell either the cotton or make sales and sell them, and I'll let you know what the difference was. So um, bear with me, and I'll be back. All right, T. Well, I'm back. I have brought all of the cotton from the fields to the sale uh, factory. And I'll tell you why. I did a little experiment. I took one full bale of cotton to the sale point. I dropped off a full bale of cotton and I got 77,300. When I dropped off a full bale to the sales shop here and it produced sales then I took a uh, that full load and sold it and I got a hundred and ten thousand five hundred and thirty eight so that's quite a difference in price so what I decided to do was to bring all the cotton to the sales shop have it made into sales and then sell it so that's what I'm doing, and as you can see, uh, I have my 14 million already, and there's three loads going. This is the last one uh, that haven't been sold yet. They're selling right as we speak, as you notice. I'm jumping to 15 million, okay? And I still have, um, let's see, I still have 3,677,000 sales to sell. So that was a lot better price. So that's what I'm doing. I'm letting these guys go. I least I couldn't get the grain trailers to haul the sales. Uh, they would they would I could fill one trailer and let them go and when they got back for a second trailer they wouldn't load it. So I don't know, I'm thinking it's the mod. So what I did was I leased two more of these big trailers that I used, and I've got all three trucks that I own running um, these sales to the sale point. So I do have enough money to buy that field, I'm going to do so. And let me get rid of the map here. It's been raining ever since last farm night. So we're going to uh, go to lands here, and I'm going to buy this field right there in that suite. So we now own that field, and I still have a million dollars left, and they're still selling sales. So I didn't have to sell anything else. I didn't have to sell my straw or, or grass or silage or... Uh, sugar cane or anything else I'm still selling what I did on the cotton so let's get back to work here uh, I have field 21 prepared and ready to go this one needed lime so I just finished that and let's just work on down the line and then uh, we're going to prepare 17. 
whatever it needs. I'm pretty sure it needs plowing. I shouldn't say that. I don't know. But um, it's a brand new field for me, and I don't think it's been plowed. I can run over and take a look, I guess. Let's see what it needs. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's a crop on it. Sugar beets! Oh my god! It's sugar beets! Oh no! I thought it was completely empty field and it got planted in sugar beets. Well, you know what? I'm gonna leave it. This is terrible. It could be worse. It could be sugar cane. Um. Oh boy. Uh, okay, I'm gonna leave it. Although it's not got any fertilizer on it, so and it needs also to be weed and feed. So as it's still growing, gosh, let's do it. it doesn't say it needs lime or plowing. So let's get these guys going on it. Oh my God, sugar beets! I can't believe it. Where am I? Field 21. All right, we're gonna head back up. Field 17 here. We cross the tracks. Holy smokes, that's a lot of sugar beets. Well, that's going to be sugar beets for sale, I tell you. I'm going to run both of these rigs at the same time. What I'm going to do is get this thing started. And then uh, I'll bring the herbicide guy in and get it started. And I'm going to have to do two fertilizers. So let's get it started in this growth phase. And then I'll do a second one. Here's the problem. Man, this thing's going to grow faster probably than I can get it done. It's so big. The field is so big. It's going to be the same way when I decide to uh, to plant something I want to plant on it. I'm going to have to drop it to real time. Because if I have it in normal time or faster, uh, you know, game time, it'll start growing before I can get halfway through with, with uh, preparing it. I'm pretty sure it will. All right, so let's just get this guy started. This party started. Okay, there's your 50%. Let's run back and get... this guy. Now, I'm curious if I've got herbicide made, because I was making herbicide. Let me see. I'm going to try to save a little time here. Where's the church at? Way down here. Let's see if we've got some herbicide made. I do have some. Oh, it's pretty purple. What happened? Wow. That didn't take very much. Man, filled it right up, didn't it? All right, let's take this guy right about there. Get it spread out. of that map there. Okay, so let's go with this. So that green there isn't even potatoes or uh, sugar beets. It's actually just weeds. 
All right, so now I do have another rig here somewhere, that guy. And it's got fertilizer in it. Now this has got solid fertilizer. So is that what this is? I'm using this solid fertilizer to make uh, to make liquid fertilizer, but let me just top it off if I can. There's not much there. All right, that almost topped it off. And then I got to get back on making fertilizer. Now, what I'm going to do is start this guy on the other end and have him work uh, back towards the first fertilizer guy. Now, I own all this grass here now because I bought this field. So this grass here is owned by me. My goodness, look how big that field is. We're going to have sugar beets like nobody's business. Hope it stops raining soon. Yeah, like I say, it started raining um, in the farm day yesterday. And I did go ahead and work through the evening with uh, picking up bales. Because it didn't affect picking up bales. The harvest was already done. And all I was doing is picking up bales. So the rain didn't interfere with that at all. Okay, let's see how long it'll take these two to get to meet up in the middle. They're not going to meet up in the middle because this one's a lot smaller than the other one as far as width. Okay. What's going on? Oh, it, I forget, doggone it, I forget, it won't spread the uh, solid fertilizer with the booms out, so, and I don't know what the width of the spreader is. So let's come in a little bit here and get started. It's actually pretty good size, isn't it? Oh, man. I'm wasting quite a bit. Let's stop it. It won't stop it. Why not? Stop it. It says Andy's blocked. I need to... Oh. It's probably because they're waiting in the turn there. I've still almost got uh, 4 million... All right, let's see if this will work. That's pretty close. We'll leave it at that. Okay, somebody's done. Who was working? Really, seriously, who was who was working? Or am I just seeing something? Well, I don't know. That was silly. Maybe it's because I stopped this guy a couple of times. Hey, Chase Wheeler's on the job. Jonathan Girth. And Kevin Stahl, all on the job. So we didn't need him. Let's go put him away. I don't want to leave him out here just to rest. Good 
It took me quite a while to pick up all those cotton bales. So I've been playing for a couple hours now. Oh look, I didn't wash my corn header. Wonder if the rain washes them. Should we pick up some poo? Oh wait, stop that. Hey, windshield wipers are running. Cool. Look at that. Oh, there's one on the side window too. One, one on the back. Oh, we don't have a back window. Why doesn't this side have a have one? Oh well, doesn't matter, I guess. Let's see if we can pick up some of this poo. What else has got windshield wipers anyway? Trucks don't have them. Does this truck have them? No. Combines don't have them, do they? Well, yeah, but you can't run the combine in the rain, so it would... Well, they do, don't they? But what? What? That isn't going to do anything. It doesn't even get the half of the windshield. That's crazy. It's a good thing you can't uh, harvest in the rain. How about this one? Nope. Mac don't have it. That one does. But again, it doesn't do very much. We already know the trucks don't. Trains don't need one. These don't. Do the big buds? How about these? They do. It goes a little bit farther. That one does. I guess I could look from the outside, can I? Nope, big buds don't have windshield wipers. This one has them, but they don't work. Why'd that come on? John Deere's windshield wipers? They do, but they don't work. Don't look like it. Nope. Don't see anything. How about my truck? Nope. Oh my god, it's dirty on the inside. Oh my god. This is filthy. What? Oh man. This guy drive with his windows down or something? Well, okay. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. We we did uh, reach our goal, and I'm over six million. So. We reached our goal and got that great big field, and uh, I hope you had fun. If you did, give it a like, share it with a friend, subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you again in the next episode. In the meantime, happy farming.